Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have another Capture One tip for you. So what I want to show you today is how to use certain plugins in Capture One and specifically I want to talk about the Nick software suite from DxO Labs. They recently came out with an update for this that allows you to work non-destructively. They of course talk about it using it non-destructively with Lightroom but you can actually use it this way with Capture One as well and I'm going to show you in this quick demonstration. So. Let me just dive right in. Um, I have a photo here which I took recently. It's on a beach in North Dublin. It was a dull kind of miserable day. And we have this image and it's kind of a strong composition, but it's not great. The colors are great. The lighting was really flat. However, I think there's there's an opportunity there. And um, we have kind of a strong com composition here with the people in the water, the ship in the distance, and it will make a nice black and white. Now, of course, I could have just used the black and white tools within Capture One and get a nice image that way. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use Silver FX Pro. So to do this, um, just going to select the arrow key up here and I'm going to right click on it. And then I'm going to go edit with and give a second for my uh, menu to load and then I'm going to go down here to Silver Frex Pro 2. Okay, so this will bring up the menu and this is really important. Make sure you select TIFF because the way the non-destructive uh, operation works with this is it needs to be used a TIFF file. So I'm using 16-bit and my ICC profile is Pro Photo, and kind of everything else is okay and I'm just going to hit edit variants. Okay, so this is going to export my image as a TIFF and then it will launch SilverFX Pro. So you will see this uh, little dialog box comes up telling you that it's good to know you're working with a TIFF. Um, since your imported image is in TIFF, you have the ability to resume editing later. Enable this option by clicking the checkbox next to the save and cancel buttons. Okay, so I'm just going to click OK on that. And you can see down here at the bottom, we have this option that save and edit later. So what this basically does is embeds the information within the TIFF file um, to allow you to re-edit the image. So I will show you how to do the re-editing in a second, but first let me just make some edits to this. And I'm gonna go on the presets here, which I think is quite good. And that straight away is a nice dramatic image. Um, I'm just going to kind of tweak a few things here and just quickly make this a nice edit. And I don't know if I want to drop it down that much, but it's pretty good. It's got a nice dramatic um, effect going on here. Maybe I might kind of darken down the sky a bit. So go down here to my burn images and I'm going to turn this up. And down there. Okay, and we're just the transition. Okay, maybe not quite that much. We just want a little bit. Okay, even that's probably too much. Okay, so let's just see our before and after. So there's just default, and that's pretty good. Now you can see we have a few dust spots here, but we're just going to ignore them for the minute. <laughs> Pretend you don't see that. Okay, I'm going to hit save, and this is going to send it back to Capture One. Okay, so if I bring up my browser here, you can see it's loading the TIFF. Okay, so there is the TIFF file that we just edited. So how do we re-edit then? So uh, it's actually quite simple. Um, you just have to do one thing slightly differently. So again, if you want to right click on the image uh, or you can right click here either and go, this time we want to go open with instead of edit with. And that's very important because otherwise you'll create a copy and uh, you'll lose your edits. So again, I just go open with and Silver Frex Pro 2. Okay, and you can see it's reloading everything. You get the same thing again. I'm just gonna turn this off now because I don't need to see it again. And it will load all the settings that we had set the last time. So you can actually go and re-edit it now. So I could say use the control points and make the sky more dramatic if I wanted to. I'll just do something like this. You can see it's actually raining at the distance there. I never even noticed that before. Let's be a bit over the top now. Uh, okay, so now that I've done that, I can actually I can turn this down. I don't need this anymore. 
and that looks good to me. It's a bit much. Um, let me just turn this down just a little bit. We don't want to go. We don't want to make it too over the top. Okay, just hit save. And there is our reloaded image. Um, and that's how you re-edit. And I can re-edit again at any stage because, for example, I don't like what I've just done there. So I can just go again, go open with, and then back to Silver Effects Pro 2. So the thing to remember is the first time you edit, make sure you go edit with, and then anytime you want to re-edit, just go open with. Okay, so I'm just going to delete these. I don't like them, the rune and everything. Now I can go in and finish this off by doing things like getting rid of the dust spots and whatnot. Um, so there's one other thing to be aware of, and that is if you are a PC user, um, you may find that it won't show up in the menu. And if that is the case, if you go into your preferences, um, and if you go over to plugins here, and you should see the open with menu, and this will give you a list of all the applications that your software detects. Um, if you don't see your SilverFX Pro or your other Nick software suites plugins here, um, what I've heard is you can fix this by uh, opening the application um, independently. Um, so if you just open the Nick software um, application, so SilverFX Pro in this case, uh, on its own, and then open and save an image in it, and then it should show up in this menu here. And that is if you're on a PC. I've had a few other people have different theories behind this. Um, I had a blog post on this and I will link that in the description below because that has a few comments from uh, PC users who've had different experience with this. But generally, uh, if you're on a Mac, it just works. Once you've installed it, it generally just shows up. And that is pretty much it. So that is how you use the Nix software suite, um, such as SilverFX Pro, not destructively in Capture One. I hope you have found this useful. If you do, please like, share and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.